All right, what is up, everybody? So today we got another DIY. I'm a little scared about this one because I'm gonna be DIYing my 2024 M3 comp by myself. It is a little nerve wracking, but we're gonna get to it. You know, you learn from your mistakes. So if I mess something up, oh well. So today we got the new mirror cats. We got the carbon fiber ones. So let me show you guys right here. Let me turn on my little light. Yep, there we go. Now you guys could just see this carbon fiber how good it looks shout out to north cal dynamics for this hooked it up this thing looks mad clean so i'm looking up at some diy videos and hopefully i could get this right so what they do is they put a prying tool they put it right here and they push up and as well with their hand for the mirror to pop off so that's what i'm going to try to do so hopefully hopefully i don't crack it and if i do i'm gonna be screwed because I gotta buy another one, so we'll see how this plays out. So let me go ahead and do that, and I'll show you guys right, right so now. This is what I cooked up so far. I don't know if you guys could see, like I said, all I used was the pry tool. I pushed with a little bit gentle force, and the mirror came right off. So we're gonna let it let, let loose for a little bit. I just put a little shirt for it wouldn't scratch the black piece. So what we're gonna do is, I don't know if you guys could see, let me try to get it. Uh, what, yeah, you see those clips up there? Uh, okay, one second. <sighs> Mm, let me try to focus in. Yeah, I don't know. You guys could barely see those two clips right there. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put your hands and you're going to pinch them or pull it up and pull it down for the clip could come out. And that's it. And then you got to keep going all around and you could just like slowly start tugging them. So let me go ahead and do that right now, guys. And I'll show you guys right now. You guys can't barely see it, but those two clips right there on top, the left of the bolt right there, those two clips, you just got to stretch them out and it'll pop out. So we're going to do that and I'll show you guys right now. Oh, all right, everybody. So I'm literally sweating right now because I am not trying to break anything. So like I said, the two little clips go right here. So what you want to do is you want to go behind and you want to like push one up, push the bottom one up and then gently push it, like give it a little force for it to come out. And then it has another tube right here fairly easy once you get those two out you think there's more but there's no more what you want to do is you get it and you just shake it little by little a little bit of force you don't want to go too hard because if you snap it that's going to be terrible so you just go little by little little by little and it will eventually come off this side i thought i had cracked it because i gave it a little bit too much force and it made a noise but luckily we're fine no cracks or nothing like that and then this cable was a freaking pain to come out it is super hard, so what you want to do, you just grab it, and you just got to yank the hell out of it. You guys can see I freaking I cut myself doing so, but it's whatever, as long as nothing's broken. So, let me go ahead and show you guys right here, and what's next, what's the next step. So, what you guys want to do is, you guys want to get a T10. A T10, let me show you guys right here. I'm trying to get the light in one second. All right, right there. You see these bolts right here? These are T10s. So what you want to do is you want to take all this apart and you want to transfer it into the new one. As you guys can see, it's literally perfect for there. So like I said, it's one, two, yeah, only two bolts. That's literally all it is. You take, it's this basically just the light. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this and I'll show you guys right now how it is. Just like that, literally just those two little boy bolts and that is it. It is on. Hopefully these fit like OEM, but we're about to find out. Check that out, that carbon fiber. How clean that looks. So let me go ahead and put it on, and I'll show you guys right now how it looks. Everybody, so one piece is on. <laughs> and let me know if you guys could see the difference. So let me try to zoom in. Oh, I can't. Yeah, let me try to zoom in. Yeah, right there. Look at that. You guys can see it. Carbon fiber. Just let me know what y'all think. You guys could see so carbon fiber. Now let me see for OEM. Let me just try to zoom in on that. Yeah, let me know what you guys think. Would you guys stay with OEM or would you guys go with carbon fiber? I think it looks really good both ways to be honest. So yep, let me know what you guys think. I still gotta do the other one. It is a little hassle, so if I were you guys, you know, I'm not perfect, so I ended up scratching just a little bit, like my black right here, 
I don't know if you guys can see there's a couple scratches right there right there so if you guys are gonna do this go ahead and I have painters tape just put some tape right here for it won't scratch because when I was trying to fit this on I was scratching the black right now but I'm pretty sure that comes off so no biggie so let me go ahead and do this one as well and I'll show you guys right now the finishing touch I'll probably take it out to the sun I'll show you guys right now how it looks but as you guys can see I put tape because I don't want to scratch this side. That side, I'll probably polish it, buff it out, whatever the hell it is. But same steps, as always, easy. Popping out the mirror is fairly easy. You just got a little bit of force. You know, don't go extreme to break it or whatnot. This, in the other hand, pisses me the hell off. Because there's another pin right here. Another one that it's long as hell. And it's super hard to take out. This thing pisses me off. And I don't want to snap it, so I'm just like, oh, gotta take a little break. Body before you're finally done. Super, I am sweating balls here. I'm scared I was gonna break something, but luckily, luckily, my skills craftsmanship is underrated, so I did not break a damn thing. But check it out, guys. Let me know what you guys think down below. If you guys would stay with OEM or aftermarket, I'm gonna remove this piece of tape right here. Like I said, if you guys are doing this, definitely put some tape for you guys won't scratch a damn thing. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. I mean, when it's like a little dark, you can't really see nothing. But during the, the sun, you can like huge difference. But just check it out how aggressive. Next project, once I clean up the garage and everything, I'm going to do the air, the, the air vents. I'm going to do those. I got those carbon fiber. I really like this grill, so I might stay with it for a little bit of rocking and then get the CSL one. But this grill just itself looks really clean. And I got a CSL lip coming in. Got a whole bunch of more things coming in. And what I really like about this, these is that it matches my carbon fiber roof. Just look at that. Really dirty right now. I got to wash it. Haven't really drove the car since I got back. But just check it out. It just looks so, so good. As always, guys, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, follow, and subscribe for the next YouTube vid. Hopefully, this one gave me a little bit more, um, a little bit more, um, what is it called? It gave me some, a little bit more energy, I guess you could say, to work on my own car. Because I was going to take it to a shop to go get that get those mirror cast replaced but then again they were charged back a good 100 200 bucks so i was like you know screw it so this gave me a little bit more confidence to work on my own car so make sure you guys like follow and subscribe for the next youtube video and let me know what you guys think